How's it going? I just made a video and it was really about uh, women and why they should dump their boyfriend. Uh, or, or should they dump their boyfriend? And the reason being is that I know so many girls that have settled. And this is the biggest thing is I look at the men, I look at the state of the men. In other words, like the overall genesis of the men. And it's just, it's frightening what is going on. Like there's no strength, there's no character, there's no creation, there's no, as David Data says, be on your path. The men have lost their path. So this video is directed directly to you men, to getting on your path, to getting back to who we were at the core, at the heart, who we were and not who society or who, who people that you're pandering to, whether it's your parents or your job or your friends, your girlfriend, your wife or whatever, men, get on your path. Your path was creation back, or our path was creation back in the day. Back in the day, we had to build our house. We had to go out and hunt. We had to go out and protect our house. We had to go out, you know, fix things up. Once we had a house, we'd have to rebuild it. It was all about creating. It was all about building. It was about getting our hands dirty and thinking and making decisions and leading. That's what we did. And now we don't at all. So this, this video is literally spanking your faces into the ground, smashing them into just consciousness because we're just... Men are just sub, just subconsciously walking around. They're just like, oh, you know, whatever you want to do, honey, doesn't matter to me. And, and the girl's like, make a decision, bro. Make a decision. You know, it's like, make a decision. That's the biggest thing is, men, there's many things that I can be talking about right now. But there's three big things. One is decision making. Make a decision and own it. You know, I know I, there's two types of people. Myself, who make a decision like without even thinking, which isn't good a lot of the time because I just make a decision. I'm like, fuck it, just do it. And then there's men who they analyze and analyze and they overanalyze and like, should I do it? Should I not do it? What if this goes wrong? Should I not do it? And they never make a decision that's so frustrating as a man to be around, let alone as a, for a woman to be around. She's like, what do you want to do? Make a decision. Do it. Come on. Like what, what is taking you so long? And it's the same thing. It's like, make a decision and stick with it. And then, this is the most important part, is stick with the consequences, good or bad. I made decisions where I'm like, that was a terrible decision. That was a terrible decision. But own up to it. Own up to your bad decisions. Own up to your good decisions. Be like, oh, that was a pretty good decision. But the thing is, you made a decision. There is, there is nothing less attractive in a man, in a woman's perspective, than a man that cannot make a decision. Along with making the decision is leadership and being courageous. I'll put them together because being a leader is courageous. And that also ties in with making the decision. If you make a decision, you're being a leader. You're being, a, you're being the guy that's ready to go first. So being a leader and being, a, being courageous, I'll put together. But being a leader, this is the biggest thing is, being a leader, you have to have, sorry, the uh, thing on, 20% battery came up. Being a leader is knowing exactly where you want to go. Having a sail on your boat. Having a rudder on your boat. Having a keel in your boat. If you just literally put a boat without a sail, which makes you go where you want to go. Uh, I'm sorry. Have the momentum to go where you want to go. A rudder to direct you and a keel so you don't tip over. You're, you now have a complete boat to go where you want to go. The new world wherever. So being a leader, courageous. This is like, men are, you know, oh man, I almost just went absolutely berserk on that. Being courageous is feeling the fear and doing it anyway. That's what courage is. It's a fireman who, I, I and I have a cousin that's in the FDNY and I have many friends that are in the NYPD. It's those men, and I have also many military people. So thank you to those three, uh, military, police, and fire. But when they feel fear, they're fearful. We're all fearful. They don't like lack fear, but they, they feel the fear and my cousin still goes into the burning building. That's courage, is feeling the fear and doing it anyway. That's what courage is. It's not you don't feel fear, it's you do feel fear and you do it anyway. 
That's where men are lacking. We feel fear and then we just don't approach that pretty girl. Don't start the company. Don't leave her job. Don't ask the girl out. Don't go to the gym. Don't, 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 don't. Because we feel fearful. We don't want to wake up early or we don't want to look stupid. So we keep on drinking or we spend more money or we take trips that we don't want to or buy things we don't want to or say yes to things we don't want to or whatever. We just supplicate and we, we pander. It's like... Two things with that is that that's average. That's average thinking. You need to be above average. You, you, you don't need to settle. There's too many people settling. That's mass society. The people I'm talking to on this channel are not mass society. It is not mass society. They're not the ones pandering to the government or society or social media or their family or their friends. Which brings me to number three is be on your path. David Data talks about this in The Way of the Superior Man. The Way of the Superior Man is a book that should be mandatory for every male in society. Straight or not straight, it doesn't matter. You need to be on a path. A path of what you want to do. path to greatness. So that path could be, I'm the best sandcastle maker. I'm the best mu musician, the best magician. I'm the best businessman, investor, real estate, developer. Doesn't matter. You know, realtor or developer, it doesn't matter. Or real estate developer, it doesn't matter. But be on your path. Women find that the most attractive. They have a passion is what they say. The man has a passion. He's just so passionate about his work. And that's, that's the funny thing is, that's why a lot of these rock stars, they get famous after 15 years. And the woman will get, or the wife will get interviewed and they're like, like, oh my God, you know, they've been married for 15 years and now he gets famous. And then she's like, oh no, I knew it all, all along. Because 15 years ago, he was as passionate. I have a buddy who just moved out to, uh, to San Francisco. He's passionate about art. And it's like, he needs to make it happen. And if, when it happens, his wife is going to be like, oh, I knew he was going to make it happen. Because you're so passionate about it. So that's the biggest thing is, number one, you have to be courageous and have to have leadership. Number two is be on your path. Most of them, you know, I talk all the time like, oh, what do we want to do? Uh, just stay at my job for 30 years, retire, get a pension or get retirement or, you know, just, what? Dude, you're not happy. You're going bald. You're overweight. Like what? How, like, how does that even make sense? That doesn't even make sense. You only get one shot at this. Literally one shot at what we're doing right now, living here right now. On Earth, we're doing that. That's what we're doing. In case you're not understanding it, all right. So number two is with the passion is regardless of what someone says, you have to just keep on doing it. Just keep on doing it. Just keep on going. Just go. Do it all the time, day in, day out. You know. So and you know something for the women as well is that you know a lot of them say, well, he's just really into playing poker or he's really into um, you know. Something that she may not like. But the thing is, he's on his path. He's doing what he wants to do. By the way, it just got really hot in here. That's why I'm turning red. But be on your path. Be courageous. Be a leader. And don't supplicate to society. I forgot number one was. But that's really what it is. It's like men. You need to put your shoulders out. Lead. Make a decision was number one. Make a decision. This is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do. Consequences or not, it all comes down. It all circles around the same thing, which is being on your path, making the decision, being courageous, leading. Just be a man, okay? Have boundaries. Have opinions. Th this is what I like. This is what I not like. This is what I like to do. This is what I don't like to do. You are your own individual. If someone says, if the whole group says, yeah, let's go here or let's do this or this, this is the group's opinion, have your own opinion because that's what you believe. That's what a leader is. That's what making a decision is. That's what courageous is. That's what being on your path is. That's all the same thing. And it may not be popular, but you know what? You live true to yourself which is one of the five regrets of the dying. There's an amazing article, Google it. It's called The Five Regrets of the Dying. And one of them was not living a life true to myself, not living a life that I wanted to live. In other words, they lived a life that their parents or society or their friends told them to live or what their school said to live. No, you live a life that you want to live, okay? Men, get out there, be strong, come on, let's go, represent. I just made a video of why women should dump us. <laughs> 
if they're not feeling it, because to be honest, yeah, men will complain, oh, she's an alpha female, she's so strong. Or some women will say like, uh, alpha women, or um, I'm alpha woman and men can't handle us. Well, that's because the men now, they need to get on their way. They need to get it together, all right? Let's go. Get out there, make decision, be courageous, lead and be on your path. Those are some really good books. Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway is a book. Um, David Data's uh, The Way of the Superior Man. And obviously the classic, which is How to Win Friends and Influence People. That's the best way to really just get on your path. There's other books. Alabaster Girl is about men. Um, and then there's another one. Uh, no More Mr. Nice Guy is another one. I did a video review of that. So go out, read those books. That's like five or six that I just said. Leave, leave the comments below. Follow me on Snapchat. I have a podcast out there. Go to itrolls.com, Instagram. All those are linked below. Follow me. Let's get out there, men. Be a man. Talk to you soon. Have an awesome day.